minutes. Hello, Patricia. How are you? Hello, fine. Hi, Luis Alonso. How are you? Hi, teacher. I am fine. And you? Excellent. Thank you for asking. I'm doing fine too. Thank you. Okay. Claudia Iraeta, good evening. How are you today? Good evening, teach. Um, very well. Very well. Excellent. And uh, Luis Enriquez, how are you? I'm fine. Thank you, sir. And you? How are you? I'm doing fine. Thank you. I, I remember that I had you in one of our, my classes, uh, Luis Enrique. Uh, I remember your face. Do you remember me the, the previous class? Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, thank you. I remember you too. <laughs> yes, uh huh. Okay, and uh, well, the, thank you for being on time and for the, having your camera on. Gracias por estar a tiempo y por tener sus cámaras prendidas. Y vamos a comenzar la clase. Last night, uh, we were talking about some of the sounds uh, that we use in English in order, in order for us to have a, a good pronunciation. I don't know if you remember what we were talking about the, uh, last night. Thank you, Jenny, for the, turning your camera on. Gracias por prender su cámara. And Rufino, thank you. Eh, ¿Te acuerdas de lo que estábamos hablando ayer? Last night. Yes, teacher. The song, the song of the, the letter A. The last sound of letter it, A. It, yes, yes uh -huh. It's the same in the O and U, and the pronunciation is A. a. Okay, okay. Yes. By example, apple, um, yes. umbrella. Yes. That I remember. Okay, very good. And uh, we went over uh, two rules. What were those two rules? Uh, ¿Cuáles fueron esas dos reglas que dijimos, Claudia? Eh, uh, wow. <laughs> Cuando estaban las dos O juntas. Ok, ajá. Uh -huh. eh, siempre se pronunciaba como se escuchaba. U. Uh. U. Uh. El sonido uh -huh. que agarraban las dos O era U. Uh. Yes. Uh. Okay, uh, one more rule, uh, Tatiana. Una regla más, Tatiana. I'll be honest with you, I don't remember the rule. You don't remember? Oh my goodness. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Sorry. ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo vamos a hacer? Dijimos que vamos a aprender inglés. Okay. Esas reglas son bien importantes. Son bien importantes las reglas. Okay. Eh, Jenny, ayúdale. Uh, when the word uh, last in the in a consonant, uh, we we say we pronunciate like a last consonant. Okay, so when a word ends uh, in a vowel e, we eliminate yeah. the vowel e, and the sounds that you're gonna listen to. On that word is the last consonant. And yes. the vowel that is still in the word is going to get a long sound like A E I O U. Yes, that's a very important. Uh, esa es una, una regla bien importante, an important uh, rule. Porque entonces, si no se van a confundir, van a decir, pero el teacher dijo que se oía A E I A A, y aquí no se oye A A E A A, porque se oye diferente. <laughs> Por esa, por esa regla, ok? So, es bien importante que se aprendan las reglas. Es importante, importantísimo. Es very, very, very important. Que cada regla, porque cada vez que vamos a ir a una clase, vamos a aprender otra regla. Y si ya no se aprendió la regla anterior, ya va a tener dos reglas y así se le va a ir. Y después va a decir, no, mejor ya no prendo la cámara, ya para qué, ya, ya, ya demasiado, ya me quedé. Sí, y no se trata de eso, se trata de que usted vaya eh, eh, creciendo, ¿verdad? Vaya creciendo y vaya mejorando su inglés. That's the whole point. Uh, but for me, teaching you those rules, the whole point is, is that you will be uh, improving every day. You're going to be talking and talking and better English. Okay? Okay, very good. 
Excelente. Eh, tenemos una regla más, Rufino. ¿Cuál fue la regla que aprendimos cuando estábamos leyendo? Excuse me, uh, I, I don't remember in this moment. You don't remember? Ok, ok, ok. Um, ayúdame, Luis Alonso, ¿cuál es la otra regla que aprendimos cuando estábamos leyendo? Siempre con las vocales. Que iban dos vocales juntas, pero no eran iguales las dos vocales, sino que eran diferentes. Um, let me see. Uh, wow. Uh, don't, don't remember, teacher. Ok, ok. Uh -huh. don't, don't remember. All right, let's see. Ya tres que no se acuerdan, ya, ya no es el estudiante, sino que es el maestro <ríe> que no lo pudo enseñar. Ok, entonces vamos a ver. Eh, Vamos a, uh, I'm going to share the uh, screen with you guys, and uh, I'm going to put a word over here. This word over here. We have two vowels together, right? But those two vowels are not the same. So in this case, the rule says that the one of the vowel is eliminated. In this case, it's going to be the A. And the, the vowel that is left in the word, it, uh, it gets a long sound. La vocal que se quedó en la palabra va a obtener un sonido largo. En este caso, ¿cuál es el sonido de ella? El nombre de ella sería I. Entonces, sería min. Yes. Ya no se escribe así la palabra y se dice min. ¿Ya? Yeah. Min. Entonces, si tenemos palabras así, ¿esta cómo se leería? Lean. Lin, there we go, Lin. Lin. Lin, porque la vocal obtiene un sonido largo. Entonces, esa es la regla que, que vamos a, a aprender ahora. Cuando una, un, when there is a word that has two vowels that goes together, but the vowel are not the same, pero las vocales no son las mismas, entonces se elimina una vowel, una, una vocal, y la otra que queda obtiene un sonido uh, largo. ¿Ya? Yeah. ¿Ok? ¿Estamos bien ahí? Ya. Yes. Ok. Very good. Excelente. Ok. Entonces, um, vamos a ver qué es, uh, vamos a ver qué son adverbs. Ahora vamos a aprender acerca de adverbs y, y también adjectives. Adverbs and adjectives. ¿Qué es un adverb, uh, Rufino? What is an adverb? Uh, it's a adverb is um, a conjunction in the uh, uh, I I have I I have idea, but the uh, And I don't, I, I that's don't, okay, that's okay. Just, that's okay. You, you have an idea, but uh, you don't know how to explain it. Yeah. Okay. What about in Spanish? That's okay. Eh, es, el, es la expresión que hace el adjetivo, eh, le da mayor fuerza al adjetivo. Okay. Okay. Ok, sí, sí una, pero o al adjetivo o a otras palabras, a otro adverbio también. O... Puede ser que otros adverbios, pero eh, uh, other, other adverbs. Ok, so, so what you're telling me is that the, an adverb, uh, eh, we use adverbs uh, to make strong statements, something like that. Use them to make a strong statement. Something like that. That's what I get. Uh, eso es lo que entendí que me dijiste. We, we, use, uh, we use them to make a strong statements. ¿Sí? Lo usamos para hacer un, una como... Algo más fuerte, yes. So, so. <laughs> ¿Sí? 
Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. Can I can I get an, an example of an adverb, by, please, Alonso? By example, uh, just how? Yes. Okay, just. Um. Well, also. Also. I'm very. Uh, when I say very, it's very, very tall. Very. Uh, very. Even. Very, right? Very. This very. Very. Um. Really. Okay, but uh, really, it's really, by really example, yeah. yes, 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 yes. Okay, that's okay. Um, what I'm puzzling is that uh, I don't know if I'm I'm right uh, with the berry, 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 berry is B uh, letter B. Oh, okay, B. okay. Let's berry. let's learn. Uh, let's learn this. Uh, the sound of the uh, V. V. Yes. yes. Whenever v. you, whenever, whenever. This the sound for this one. What you do is you bite your front teeth like this. V v very, very. There we go. There we go. Very. Okay. That's different than very. Okay. It's different than very. Very. Yeah. Okay. okay. So this Thank one you. you said is very right. Very. Yes. Very good. Very. Uh huh. And uh, we have uh, really. Really. Yes, and you say like uh, pretty, pretty, pretty good. Pretty, yes. pretty. Yes. Yes. We have a uh, fairly. Yes. Fairly. Yes. Fairly. Yes. Fairly. Is a uh, fairly big. Yes. Fairly big. Yes. Yes. And uh, somewhat. Someone. Somewhat. Yes. Somewhat. Somewhat. Yes. Okay. Somewhat, somewhat, yes. Algo así, yes? Yeah. Yeah, somewhat, algo así, algo así. So this is the, these are the examples of adverbs. Adverbs, yes. These are examples, there are many, there are many more, yes. But these are a few examples of uh, some adverbs. In uh, this, Rufino, are the ones that we're gonna be using to make strong statements. Like, uh, for example, where do you live, uh, Rufino? Uh, I live in Soyapango. Okay, Soyapango, mm -hmm. Soyapango. <laughs> I'm gonna say that Soyapango is, uh, is a nice city, yeah? Yeah? Soya Pango is a nice city. This is just a statement, right? A ah, regular statement. Anybody can say that, right? Hey, Soya Pango is a nice city. But then you say, my teacher, no, 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 no. Excuse me, teacher. Soya Pango is not just a nice city. You know, Soya Pango, teacher, for you, Soya Pango is a really, yeah. really, really nice city teacher really nice city teacher you have to come and visit my city teacher you don't know what you're talking about you know if you just say that uh, uh, soya pango is nice you don't know soya pango soya pango is a really nice city yeah so you just made a strong statement of the city of soya pango see ¿sí? ya hizo un 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 comentario más fuerte de la ciudad de soya pango Y ahí es donde usamos okay. nosotros uh, eh, adverbs para hacer eh, un, un estado o algo más fuerte, ¿ya? Um, eh, por ejemplo, eh, ¿cuál es el, el departamento más grande de San Salvador? ¿De El Salvador? Teacher, excuse me, El Salvador. Yeah, el Salvador, yes. What department is the, is the biggest one in El Salvador? Yes. Probably. Chalatenango. Chalatenango, ok. Yes. Chalatenango, Chalate, Chala, Chalatenango, Chalatenango is uh, is a, a big is a big department department in El El Salvador. 
Yeah. Chalatenango is a big department in El Salvador. Pero viene alguien que vive en Chalatenango y, y me dice, teacher, but you, it looks like a, you don't know Chalatenango. Huh? Teacher, Chalatenango is, let's see, is fairly, fairly, yes. Teacher, Chalatenango is fairly big department in El Salvador, yes. Ese fairly le da un, uno como que, hey, no, 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 es, no es solamente grande, ¿verdad? Es, es grandísimo, ¿verdad? Es fairly big, yes. Es, es extremadamente grande, Chalatenango, yes. So, entonces mm -hmm. usamos adverbs to, to uh, make strong statements, to make, para hacer el statement más grande, ¿ya? Yeah? Entonces decimos, Chalatenango is fairly uh, a big department. It's fairly a big department. Yes. Are you with me? Eh, ¿Me están siguiendo? ¿Me están viendo? Yes. ¿Cómo usar yeah. los, 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 los adverbs para hacer, yes. uh, to make a, a big, yes. uh, a stronger uh, statement? Yes. It's a, it's a very, it's the uh, same. Uh, adverb, uh, adverb. I say bigot. No. Biggest, biggest is a comparative. Comparative. Ah, uh, uh, yeah. Yes. I remember. I and remember. superlatives. Uh, thank you. Comparatives and superlatives are different. So this uh, is just a. Thank you. This, we are using adverbs to make a strong statements. Okay. Very good. So we okay. have, uh, we have fairly. Now, now let's see if we can, uh, um, let's see. Does anybody drive uh, in the group? Claudia do, you, Claudia, do you drive? Yes, teacher, I drive. Okay, what type of car do you drive? Um, sedan. <laughs> a sedan? Okay, it's, 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 a, it's a Toyota, it's a... A, a, a Nissan. Datsun, it's, a, it's a Honda. Nissan. Oh, Nissan, okay. Okay. Um, so what we're gonna say is that uh, your car is expensive, okay? Okay. And you say, um, um, let's see. My, we're gonna say my Nissan. You can say, let's see, where are you? You're gone. Okay, Claudia's. Claudia's. Okay, just a second. Claudia's Claudia's car is expensive. Expensive. Claudia's car is expensive, yes? And you said, teacher, my car is not just expensive. So my car is very expensive. very expensive. Yes, yes. very expensive. Very Entonces dice, expensive. Claudia's car is very expensive. Entonces le ponemos el adverb ahí para magnificar eso y decir que no es solamente caro, sino que es bien caro. Yes, very expensive. Entonces, ¿dónde colocamos nosotros el adverbio? para poder hacer más fuerte ese statement. Antes del verbo. Antes del verbo. Después del verbo. Después del verbo. Después del verbo. Alguien dijo el adjective? Before the adjective. Yes. The, adjective. the closest to the adjective. Closest to the adjective. Tiene que ir lo más cerca al adjetivo, porque si no, se puede perder el, el, el mm. mensaje. Si lo pongo muy lejos del adjetivo, entonces podemos perder el mensaje y pensar que estamos hablando de otra cosa, ¿ya? Ok, entonces, uh, closest to, ok, acuérdense, closest to. Closest to. Yes. Um, 
Yes. Entonces, vamos a ver. Um, Gabriela, hágame una oración usando eh, un uh, adverb. De los que tenemos aquí, cualquiera de los que tenemos aquí. Yeah. Dígame una oración y yo la voy a escribir. La niña me está diciendo allá. Yo, dice la niña allá atrás, dice Gabriela. Pero no la escucho. Ah, sorry, sorry. <risa> eh, eh, my house. My house, yes. Is very. Is very. Beautiful. Beautiful. Um, Beautiful. Okay. Yeah. Yes. My house is very beautiful. Yes. Very beautiful. Entonces, it's not just beautiful, but it's very beautiful. Very good. Excellent. Luis Alonso, please. Uh, the, um, the beach in El Salvador. The, I'm sorry. The beach. Yes. Oh, the beach is, uh -huh. the beach in El Salvador. Beaches in El Salvador, yes. Are always beautiful. Are always beautiful. Okay. Okay. Are always uh, beautiful. ¿Dónde está el adverbio aquí? Always. Always is an advert of frequency. Um, ok. No le da eh, eh, es okay. algo strong. Um, Podemos usar fairly beautiful, yes. Yes. Fairly. Fairly. Yes, fairly beautiful, yes. The beaches in El Salvador are always fairly beautiful. Yes. It's trembling, it's trembling. I'm sorry? Uh, I, other adverbs, uh, I, I stremble, stremble, <laughs> I, I don't know. Extremely. Uh -huh. yeah. Extremely, yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. Extremely. Extremely, yes. Sí, Carla, Verónica, dígame. Eh, solo quería compartir una oración para ver si voy comprendiendo. Ok, very good. Go ahead, please. My class is very interesting. Yes, my, it's not just interesting, right? But it's very interesting. Very good. My, ahora lo que vamos a hacer es vamos a especificar qué clase. My English class, yes. My English class is Very interesting. Very good. My English class is very interesting. Very good. Excellent. Good job. Good job. My English class, English class is uh, very interesting. Very good. Anybody else who wants to try? Nobody else? Yeni Sanchez, please. The house in the forest is pretty small. The house in the forest is pretty small. Is really small. Pretty. Oh, pretty, pretty, pretty small. Yes, I'm sorry. Pretty. Pretty small. Este teacher, ah, no escucha. No sé qué está haciendo. Uh, pretty small, yes. Okay, very good. The house in the forest is uh, pretty small. Yes, pretty small. Very good. 
Very good. Excellent. Pretty small is que hey, demasiado pequeña, eh? demasiado pequeña. Pretty small. It's not just small, but it's menos que pequeña. <laughs> Very good. Excellent. Good job. Good job. Estamos bien. Eh, si alguno de ustedes uh, eh, piensa que todavía no tiene bien claro esto, uh, uh, haga un, un, un ejemplo para ver si, quiero ver si, si, si ya lo entendí. Y hace el ejemplo, el ejemplo y se va a dar cuenta. You will find out whether you have uh, understood uh, everything uh, very 100% or not. Okay. That's the only way. And if there, anybody um, did not do the reading yesterday, I advise you to do it because it's a very good practice for you. Luis Enrique, give me a, give me a sentence, Luis. Okay. My car is pretty nice. My car is uh, pretty nice. Yes, pretty nice. My car is pretty nice. Okay. Yeah, yeah, very good. Excellent. Good job. Okay. All right. I think uh, it's, uh, it's clear that uh, you guys have grasped uh, the, uh, the information and uh, you got 100% uh, uh, the information that I want you to understand. Very good. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we will go to the uh, website and we will do the exercise, the first exercise in our uh, platform. And uh, what I will do is I will, go, I will go ahead and ask you, one of you guys, uh, to read the first uh, exercise. And uh, if you can try giving me the answer for it, OK? So I'm going to ask Jenny to do the first uh, question for us. In this exercise, you are going to, uh, you're given the some questions in order to answer them. You need to choose the correct uh, response, the best suits the question. You need to read all the information carefully, okay? Because uh, the, the answers are almost the same. Okay, go ahead, please, Jenny. What's, uh, how I pronunciate this word? Seoul? Seoul. Seoul. Yes, uh huh. What Seoul like is an, an interesting place. Okay, I'm gonna help you with the uh, uh, fluency. Um, on the on the the question says, "What's Seoul like?" Yes, it's a question. Yes, what's Seoul like? What Seoul's like? Very good. And then you read, "Is it?" Is it an interesting place? Is it an interesting place? Is it an interesting place? Interesting. Yes. Is it an interesting place? Is it an interesting place? Very good. Now read the, the whole question. Oh, really? It's... No, 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 no. The question what? is, what's Seoul like? Uh, is it an interesting what? place? What's Seoul like? Is it an interesting place? Very good. Now give me the answer. I read all the answer or only I think- The one you think is the correct one. Okay. Yes, it is. It has amazing shopping and the people are very friendly. Okay, so this is your, your answer. Yes, it has amazing shopping and the people are pretty friendly. Yes, 
pretty friendly. So they're pretty are friendly. not just friendly, right? Are pretty friendly. Pretty Very friendly. good. Very good. Excellent. Uh, Claudia, can you do number two, please? Do you like your hometown? Why? Or why, or why not? Or why not? Pardon. Do you like your hometown? Why? Or why not? Very good. Mm, yes. Yes, I have. It's an extremely large and crowded place, but I love it. It has excellent restaurants. Okay, so you think it is, yes, I have. It's an extremely large and crowded place, but I love it. It has excellent restaurants. Uh, that's what you think is the answer, okay? Very good. I'm going to ask, uh, uh, let's see, Morena, do you agree with her? Morena Medina, double M. I, I can't hear you. I'm sorry. Do you agree with her? Estás de acuerdo con ella? You have your mic uh, off. Your microphone is off. No, no estoy de acuerdo. Okay, can you please uh, give me the correct answer? And why okay. you're not, uh, why not you really. are not, do, why, how come you don't agree with her? Um, yo diría que es no not really. Not really? See, si, it's too small. And it is really, but it's, that is why I move away. Okay, not really. It's too small and it's really boring. That's why I moved away. I moved away, yes. Okay, and uh, why do you think uh, the one he choose she chooses is not the correct one? Si es correcta. Why, why do you think it's not correct? Mm. ¿Por qué piensas que no es la correcta esa? Ah, la que dijo la compañera. Sí, correcto. Porque está preguntando de la ciudad natal uh -huh. y le está preguntando que si por si le gusta o no le gusta y por qué si le gusta la ciudad natal uh -huh. entonces le tiene que decir que no y por eso que se ha cambiado se mudó oh, ok 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 very good excellent ok so not really right not really it's uh, too small and it's really boring. That's why I moved away. Okay, very good, excellent. Um, let me see. Alba Saavedra, can you read the uh, answer to, to this question, to question number two, please? I think it's correct. Yes, yes, it is the correct one, yes. Uh, can you read it for me, please? Okay. Um, no, really, it's so small and it's really boring. That's why I move away. Okay, very good, excellent. And uh, Olivia Sorio, can you please read the answer for me, please? Yes. Um, the la respuesta es, es eso. No really it's too small and it is really boring. That is will I move away. Okay, very good, excellent, good job. Uh, Adonai, Adonai Moran, can you please read the answer for me? Yeah. 
The answer four is correct. Yes, can you read it for me, please? Si la respuesta, la respuesta que ellos han dado es correcta. Sí, sí, sí. Can you read it for me, please? La puede leer, por favor. Not really. It is too small. And it is really boring. That's why I move it away. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much. And uh, Cela, Lara, how are you today? Hi, teacher. Hi, can no. you read the answer for me, please? Not really. It's too small and it's really boring. That's why I'm moving the money away. Okay, very good. Excellent. Good job. Okay, let's see. I think I, I think I have enough uh, information. Okay, very good. Now let's do number three. Number three, let's see uh, if I can have uh, Olivia Osorio, can you help me with number three, please? What uh, sign, sign it like? I be never been there. Okay, okay, I'm gonna help you with the pronunciation, Olivia Osorio, and uh, we're gonna read, uh, let's see. The question like this, what's Sydney like? Yes, it's a question. What's Sydney like? What's Sydney like? What's Sydney like? What's Sydney like? Sydney. Sydney. Yes, what's Sydney like? Repeatalo, please. What, what Sydney like? Very good. I've, ahí se va a morder los labios. You're going to bite your tongue, uh, your lips, okay? You're going to say, I've, 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 I've never been there. I've never been there. Very good. Ahora vamos a leer toda, we're going to read the whole question. What Sydney like? I've never been there. What Sydney like? I've never been there. Very good, very good. Ahora, dígame la respuesta. Um, it's uh, on really, it's beautiful and very clean. It has a great harbor and beautiful beach. Okay. Ok, vamos a ayudarle aquí también con la pronunciación. Vamos a ver. Oh, really? Oh, really? ¿Esa es la respuesta oh, que really? me dio? Oh, really? It's beautiful. It's yes. beautiful and very clean. Very clean. Acuérdense, esta eh, tenemos que eh, mordernos los labios. Very clean. Very It clean. has a great harbor and beautiful beaches. Beaches. Oh, really? Oh, really? It's beautiful and very clean. It has a great harbor and beautiful beaches. Yes, a great harbor. A great harbor. And beautiful beaches, yes. And beautiful beaches. Okay, ahora leala sin errores. Oh, really? It's beautiful and very clean. It has a great... A great... Harbor, <laughs> a great harbor and beautiful beaches. Okay, one more time, please. One more time, una vez más, please. Oh, really? It's, it's beautiful and very clean. It has a great, uh, <laughs> a great, a great, great, great cardboard and beautiful beaches. Okay, one more time. Oh, really? 
is beautiful and very clean. It has a great um, harbor and beautiful beaches. Very good. It has a great harbor and beautiful beach. Very good. Excellent. Excellent. Good job. Okay. Um, who wants to try the last one? ¿Quién quiere probar la última? Es la, okay, oportunidad, es la oportunidad de su vida. Jenny Sánchez. Okay, oh. Have you ever been to Sao Paulo? Okay. Yes, I have. Is it is it it is an extremely large and crowded place, but I love it. It's, it has excellent restaurants. Okay, very good. Vamos a trabajar en la fluidez. Okay. Uh, la pronunciación estamos bien, pero la fluidez. Vamos a, a tratar de uh, quitar esa a ah, a ah, a ah, a ah, a ah, a ah, a. Ah. Yes. Vamos a tratar de colocar eso. Entonces, vamos a, a, a trabajar donde dice an extremely vamos a unir esas dos palabras y vamos a decir an extremely an extremely an extremely yes entonces extremely. vamos a decir yes i have it's an extremely large okay. yes i have. yes i have it's an extremely large and crowded place but yes, I in, in uh, aquí extremely large and crowded place Again? Yes. Yes, I have. It's an extremely large and crowded place, but I love it. It has excellent restaurants. Yes, very good. Sounds better. Yes. Vamos a decir, but I love it. Love it. But I love it. But I love it. Yes, but I love it. It has excellent restaurants. It has excellent restaurants. Very good. Entonces se va a ir así. Yes, I have. It's an extremely large and crowded place, but I love it. It has excellent restaurants. Again? Please. Yes, I have. It's an extremely large and crowded place, but I love it. It has excellent restaurants. Very good. Excellent. Good job. Excellent. Good job. Good job. Anybody else wants to try to read the uh, sentence? Alguien más uh, quisiera tratar de leerla, la oración. Acuérdense que it's the only way that you are going to be able to improve your pronunciation or your fluency by reading, by reading. And taking into consideration uh, the advices that I'm giving you so you can improve that. Anybody? Claudia? Sí. Iraita? Sí. Yes, I have. It's an extremely large and crowded place, but I love it. It has excellent restaurants. Very good. Very good. Excellent. Good job. Good job. Good job. Um, Shela Lara? Yes, I have. In extremely, extremely large and crowded place, but I love it. It has excellent restaurants. Okay, vamos a trabajar en it's an extremely large. An extremely large. Yes. Entonces vamos a decir, yes, I have. It's an extremely large. Yes, I have. It's an extremely large or grow place. And I love it. Yes. Okay. It has excellent restaurant. Very good. Excellent. Uh, Gabriela Cortez? Yes, I have. It's an extremely large and crowded place, but I love it. It has an excellent restaurant. Okay. Very good. Excellent. Okay. Vamos a submit this one. And uh, we got them all right. Oh, good job. My goodness. You guys are good. Very, very good. We got them all right. Good job. Excellent. Excellent. Now you can go and buy yourself an ice cream. Pueden irse ya y comprar un sorbete porque hicieron muy bien. Okay. 
Ahora lo que les, les voy a ayudar es en las, uh, la pronunciación de las terminaciones de los, uh, la, de los ED endings, de los que, las palabras que terminan en ED. ¿sí? Y esas terminaciones tienen tres sonidos. ¿Alguien conoce cuáles son esos tres sonidos que se le tiene que dar a las terminaciones de las ED? Cuando hablamos en pasado. Like a T, like I T, okay. like me. Ok. Ok, very good. Vamos a ver, just a second. ¿Por qué? Por eso los ponía a leer eh, esas oraciones que tenían eh, las palabras en, en pasado. Sí. Esto es ED, ED endings. Si no la pronunciamos nosotros bien, entonces no se escucha bien la palabra. Eh, por ejemplo, uh, tuvimos estas. Crowd. Crowd. Yes. Tuvimos estas palabras, ¿verdad? Si no la pronunciamos bien. Eh, eh, crowd. Crowded. Oh. O, oh, ¿cómo vamos a decir? Y es, y, por ejemplo, estas, one. Good. Y es, ¿cómo vamos a decir? Wanted, want, o oh, want, y es, ¿cómo? ¿Cómo lo vamos a, a decir? Uh, want to. Y es, entonces, hay tres sonidos. Y es, uno es uh, este sonido. Y yeah. otro es este sonido. Okay. Ya. Y el otro es este sonido, ed, ed, yes, ed, dependiendo de en qué termina eh, la palabra. ¿Qué es una consonante? What is a consonant? Yeah, what is a consonant? Todas que no son vocales. <laughs> Todas las, yes, yes, the, the letters that are not vowels. Esas son consonantes, ¿verdad? Entonces, dependiendo de la consonante en la que termine el verbo, así va a ser el sonido que va a agarrar la ed. Yeah. Y entonces, tenemos dos tipos de consonantes. ¿Quién sabe cuáles son los dos tipos de consonantes que hay? There are two types of consonants. Does anybody know which are they? ¿Cuáles son ellos? Los dos tipos de consonantes. No sé. Voice and unvoiced. Yes. Son dos. Voiced and unvoiced consonants. ¿Cuáles son las voice consonants? Las voice consonants son aquellas que cuando usted produce el sonido, hace una vibration aquí en su throat. Cuando siente una vibración aquí en su throat, entonces, esa es una voice. Y si no siente any vibration in your throat, then that, that consonant is considered an unvoiced consonant. Okay, we're going we're gonna to do a test. Let's, uh, what is the sound of this uh, consonant? The sound of that consonant is mm. So you do this, mm, and you touch your throat. You say, mm. What do you feel? Mm. Mm. What do you feel? Do you feel a vibration? Yes. Okay. In the throat. So that is a, a voice consonant in this case. Now let's gonna try an unvoiced consonant. Okay, let's try the sound of this one. And touch your throat. Y, y tóquese su garganta. ¿Siente alguna vibración? Do you feel any vibration? No. No. Any vibration. So that is an unvoiced consonant. Yeah? Unvoiced consonant. Now let's, let's try this one. L, L. It's voiced or unvoiced? Patricia? Es eh, unvoiced. Unvoiced? 
So you don't feel anything? Are you touching your throat oh. and making the sound? Uh, Touch I'm, your throat. Uh, Touch your throat uh, like this. Uh, and okay, voice, voice. Uh, and, uh, and if you feel vibration in your throat, yes. that is a voice consonant. So in this yes. case, it's voice, right? Yes. Okay, very good. Uh, Let's try another consonant. What about this one? Do you feel any vibration? Oh. No, so it's some voice. Let's try it any other consonant. Estela, give me a letter. Z, z. Okay. Entonces, el, un humming como la de la fly. Z, z. I got z, z. Mm. Voice or unvoiced? Voice. Voice, yes. Voice. Olivia, give me another consonant. Um, P. P. Okay. P. 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 You're going to say P. 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 Is voice or unvoiced? P. P. Gabriela, tóquese, tóquese la garganta, si no, no vas a ver si es pa, voice or unvoiced. Pa, 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 pa. It's voice. Huh? It's voice. It's voiced, yes. It's yes. voiced. It's voice consonant, yes. Uh, give me another uh, letter, Morena, Medina. The double M. La de las dos M's. Morena Medina. <laughs> sí. La G. La G. Eh, G. Es G. El... G. 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 Siente vibración. G. 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 Yes, it's a, a voice consonant. Yes, very good. Voice. Voice. Yes. G. Voice. G. G. Okay, vamos a ver. Alguien más? Uh, Alba, Saavedra, give me another consonant. Uh, letter D. 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 Okay. The letter D. Mm. The sound of it is D. 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 Da, da. Siente vibración o no, pero tóquese la garganta. Da, 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 da. Sí. Tatiana, play test, voice or unvoice? No. ¿Ah? <laughs> Voiced, yes, voice, yes. Porque se siente una vibración aquí, voice. Ahora le voy a dar esta, vamos a ver si qué es esa. ¿Esa es voice o unvoiced? El sonido de ella es. Es unvoiced, yes. Unvoiced, yes. Unvoiced. Ok. J. J. Ya, 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 como llave, ya, 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 voice o unvoice? Voice. voice, voice, very good, voice, voice, looks like a Luis already got the, the idea, <laughs> voice, yes, yes, and R, R, ra, 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 el sonido lo hace, ra. Lo hace eh, eh, poniendo la punta de la lengua arriba de, del paladar y haciendo el sonido. Ra, 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 ra. It's voiced. It's voiced, yes, voiced. Voice. Uh -huh. 
W sería la wa 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 Un voice. 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 And voice, and yes. And Entonces, voice. no, ahí no vibra nada, para nada. And voice. B. 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 No. B as in boy, ¿verdad? And voice. B. And okay. voice. B. Vamos a ver, B. E. B, se dice B. 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 Ba. 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 Voice or unvoice? Ba. 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 Voice. 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 Ba. 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 G. Other B. Espérense que ahí alguien me dijo unvoice. Si quiero saber si me está haciendo eh, el ejercicio o no. Porque si no está, si solo dice unvoice y no se toca aquí. Y no está haciendo el ejercicio. Tiene que tocarse aquí. Voice. Va, 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 va. Y tiene que sentir eso. Si no lo siente, entonces no. El ejercicio no está teniendo su efectividad. Voice. Voice. Va. ¿Cuál otra dijeron? Perdón. G. B. G ya lo hicimos. G. G. B. B. Other B. Oh, B. B. V. Muérdase los labios. V. B. B, ese es V, 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 Extremadamente voice. Mm. Mm. Voiced, yes. Voiced. Mm. Voiced. Mm. Voiced. Very good. Mm. Voiced. Extremadamente voice. <laughs> Extremadamente, yes. Voiced. Voiced. Mm -hmm. Why? Why? Esta tiene el sonido de vocal. Y todas las vocales son voiced. Entonces, esta ah. es vocal. Y, y. Diga, y. Y, 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 entonces, así es como se encuentra cuáles son voice y cuáles son las unvoice. Ahora, um, denme un, un verbo regular. Just give me a regular verb. Porque esta, regular la verb. ed y ending son para los regular verbs. Stay. ¿Perdón? Stay. Take no es un regular verb. El pasado Stay. es look. Stay. Look. Stay. Sí. Okay. Stay. 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 Oh, stay. 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 Ok. Entonces, esta sería. Ahora, como este, eso es una voice o una unvoiced. Sí. Voice. Voice. Ok. Voice. Cuando es voice, el sonido de esta es como una D. Así. Ya. Yeah. Ok, entonces esa la vamos a leer. Stayed. 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 
Very stayed. good. Stayed. Very good. Me gusta esa pronunciación. Stayed. Stayed. Si le cuesta decir stayed, vamos, es, uh, vamos a usar stayed. unos training wheels. Training wheels son los que usan los niños cuando empiezan a manejar bicicleta, ¿verdad? Y mm -hmm. ponen las wheels para que no se vayan a caer. Entonces, usted va a decir stayed. 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 Si todavía no puede decir stayed. 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 Very good. Stayed. Yeah. Stayed. Ok. Entonces, uh, hasta ahí vamos a llegar. Mañana me traen cinco, cinco verbos que terminan en ed, pero con el sonido de uh, uh, voice consonant, porque esa es la que hemos visto solamente. Voice consonant y me las van a leer, ¿ok? Mañana. Correctamente. ¿Con qué dijo? ¿Con qué dijo? Con voice. Con voice. Sí, porque las, las, un voice, las un voice todavía no las hemos visto ni okay. las okay. que terminan en t y d. ¿Ok? Ok. okay. Yes. Very good. Excellent. Uh, good job. Thank you for being uh, such a good student. Um, I see you tomorrow and have a good night. Okay? I see you tomorrow. Good night. You too, teacher. Okay. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye, teacher.